see Big Shang is in the building. I see him already. Nikki FSU is here. Marion, Marionette Anderson. Mom Anderson. Uh, Priscilla Philpot. I think I got that right. Shang, I'm bringing him in the building right now. And I see you. Savage AF, y'all. We are live here on IG, Monday through Friday. Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Hey, what's, Standard up, Time. what's going on? Tuesdays through Thursdays, we are uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What's going on, Big Shang? Make sure you always follow Yeah, man. No, if I wanted to go long tonight, but uh, yeah, I got to be there at 8.15. I don't know how far Glendale is from us because I'm right up the street from you, but I got to be out there at 8.15 for uh, a podcast called uh, Do Tell. It's no, right. <laughs> for Amazon. It's yeah. I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. Um, it's they they had a comedy show. I was supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, Godfrey in the building. What's up, Godfrey? I think I think you I think you forgot we're on a live show for a second. You just started talking to me like, yeah, man, I'm about to go. I know I did. I just started talking like, fuck it. What's up? What's up, God? I see the God in the building. He's in the building. Yo, oh, what's going on, Savage AF? Brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered. By Dash Radio, I guess powered by Dash Radio. I don't even know what the fuck that means no more. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, we're bringing it to you. We're going to talk about the issues today, a lot of the shit that's going on. That is crazy. Um, that we still dealing with it, and the, the Supreme Court shit is just fucking me up, man. The, the fact that we're about to have, it's about to get jammed through. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. Um, the Daily Run. Oh, make sure y'all follow on my page. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And I saw Godfrey was here for a second. Make sure you follow the God, Godfrey. Um, you know, beast mode uh, all day. Um, make sure you do that. So, um, yeah, man, we got to give him the Daily Run up. But God damn, man. And, and uh, also, um, not on a somber note, cuz, but it, it, it is what happened. Um, uh, a uh, friend of mine and fellow, uh, a director, a comedian, uh, passed away, uh, Reek, um, you know, and uh, hopefully condolences to his family. And, um, you know, some people have a hard time with things and he had a hard time with things. And so, uh, you know, shout out to him and also Nick Alexander. So uh, pin the thing there and let him know the run up. One second. Uh, yeah, and before we get into the daily run up, because we are the type of show Savage AF that will run up on your ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, we. Uh, you should also be following at Comedian Shane here on IG. Make sure you are following yeah. at, at Savage AF Radio uh, here on IG. Uh, really, really important, guys. We need you to jump on YouTube. Uh, Savage A dot F dot. That's what we are. Savage AF with the periods in it. A period F period. Uh, find us, follow, subscribe, spread the news. Subscribe, yeah, for sure. Subscribe so to the shit. If you, if you miss, if you miss out on a daily, uh, you know, episode here on IG, uh, you can catch us there, and you can also catch us wherever you get your podcast on all platforms, right? All podcast platforms. Uh, so, what? So pop, it, wait, oh, the popular platforms are iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, um, SoundCloud, and. Ugh. And uh, what, is it? Uh, what is it? What uh, is it? I Heart Radio. I forgot. Yeah, I Heart Radio. All of them, all the platforms, y'all. So that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Get us on YouTube, Savage A dot F dot. Yeah, uh, let's get into Real the shit. daily run up, man. So we're gonna end today's show, which is uh, September twenty second, uh, two thousand twenty one. I hope. I wish. <laughs> I'm trying to move on, y'all, but it's twenty twenty still. Uh, we're going to end today's show celebrating National Voter Day and being encouraging. Yay. And we'll be Yay. encouraging yeah. all you dickheads who are anti-vote to go ahead and take your dumb ass out and vote and get registered. Uh, but before we talk about that, gentlemen, stop your engines. <laughs> That's Michael, it, pretty much. Michael Jordan is, um, has become a NASCAR owner. We're going to talk about that. Uh, uh, that. That's interesting, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but Let's see how many in... people boycott his shit. Let's see how many, you know, Confederate flags are flying around that shit. But Michael Jordan, though, it might be because, hey, yeah, maybe, you know, it maybe might be this, with him. Maybe this is good news. <laughs> good news. Uh, 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 but here we yeah, go. Yeah, I get it. I get Before it. Before we talk about that. You went there. You went there, didn't you? Yeah, Say, fuck you know, it. 
All right. Before we talk about that, though, we're going to talk about uh, Funnel Vision, uh, which is uh, it's, it's, it's being reported by the Washington Post that uh, the Pentagon uh, took a billion dollars <laughs> that they were supposed to spend on PPE for the peoples and handed out defense contracts. We're going to talk about that. Um, yeah, of course. Of course. But before we get into that, uh, we're going to talk about this full court press, which you mentioned earlier. Uh, the GOP, all, they all folded. The, 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 uh, any yeah. of the ones that Wrong we talked about yesterday, they it, also, yeah. we, we're going to talk about that. Um, but uh, before we get into that, today's show, September 22nd, 2020, Savage AF, we're going to talk about unintelligence. <laughs> you know, we have an intelligence uh, community, FBI, CIA, they go out, find information, tell people so that we know what to, you know, do and the, t and the country responds appropriately. Um, you know, the CIA has now come out and said that it, it is most likely Vladimir Putin at the, at, who is directing Russia's attacks on our democracy, you know, on our voting, right. trying to oh, get yeah. something out vote. Um, the, uh, yeah. the, the uh, CIA uh, is saying that Putin is most likely running that show not not china not it's not just china it's russia they've been telling you it's russia i don't understand why the motherfuckers trying to act like it's not russia every time trump sees putin he gives him a fucking quick hander gives him a couple yeah. gives him a double fister um you know and so we already know that shit i don't understand why no, people is... there are people that are actually surprised by the shit i'm going yeah, yeah it worked last time that's why yeah. he's fucking president now well, that, dummies, that, bunch that, of dummies. And so, yeah, I mean, this is confirmation from the Central Intelligence Agency that yeah. that uh, Donald Trumpy Dumpty is Putin's anal tampon, like like we've been saying. Like yes. he, li he lives in his and, in his ass cave, um, and Putin is is running this. And this information comes if we know about it. The goddamn motherfucking president knows about it, right? Like, right. If we know, but like we he just gets all the information, it, then yeah, yeah. That, that that's what's being. So it's not even that it's just Russia, though, because you know it's not some little hacker named Boris sitting in a fucking uh, <laughs> computer. That's what he uh, said. It's some overweight guy shop. in in a basement, and he's just doing. No, it's fucking Russia. It's the president, their it's intelligence the president division is fucking. The, yeah, that's fucking us over, and it's. It, but I'm telling you right now, the way shit has been going, I'm not surprised by none of this shit. And the people that surprised, why are you surprised? That's like black people surprised that racism still is raging through police departments. Like, I can't believe the police are so racist. Then you're a dumb nigga, and you deserve all the dumbness that comes your way. Are you kidding me? That They have, they already said it. The, the head of the CIA, the FBI has said it so many times, and, and the Republicans still go, I, I, I didn't say anything. I didn't watch news. I don't know anything. And the president, I never heard of it. It's never been happening. I don't know. Uh, all y'all bitches, if you don't understand that they've been doing that, and you read some of the shit that they have on Facebook and Twitter and whatever else, some of it is obviously trying to, you know, sow division. Why are you surprised? Ugh, y'all make my ass itch. I can't stand you, motherfuckers. Man, I'm telling you, bro. So I was thinking maybe the reason... Uh, Trumpy Dumpty, beyond beyond being, you know, you know, beyond living inside of of, of Putin's poop butt, um, his poop, <laughs> yeah, he's living, he's in living his inside his poop. Yeah. Oh, he's living off the gases in Putin's ass. Um, What's maybe, up, Deborah? What's up, AG Fit? What's up? We got a couple people. Uh, I already shouted out Godfrey. Just real quick, pretty on the left. What's up, Money Penny? What's up? Welcome back. Uh, Lady Du Bois, what's going on, Lady Du Bois, and uh, uh, Deborah Hyatt, and a few other, uh, Michelle M underscore Mitch. All right, so uh, well, we see y'all, we see y'all, but uh, maybe the reason Trump D. Dumpty, another reason he doesn't respond to this stuff is because they call it intelligence, and it's just, it's a scary word for him. It's, it's a big it, word. It's a, it's, I don't even think he understands it. It's not a, a feeling. What's up, Lady Hazel May? We see you too. Um, but you know, it's, it's, I think it's the word intelligence. Like if they, if they called it something else, like, um, the daily funnies or, you know, 
just something like that, like you know, <laughs> just just <laughs> wait a giggle words. You know, wait they just if they just called it giggle words, or you know, yeah, know, like um, you know, a fictionary or something like that. Then you know, maybe if somebody read it to him bedside with hot milk or some shit like that. I don't know what uh white guys like that do. I, you but. know, it's not gonna. You know what it's gonna take. Uh, I, all the cheating that's going on, I just saw more shit where they're going to do some more cheating, making it much more difficult to vote in Pennsylvania because they're going to make double n double envelopes. It has to be an envelope within an envelope, and then you have to, you know, give a pubic hair, and then that. And they have to get the pubic hair, and they're going to do a scientific, uh, you know, experiment on the pubic hair to make sure that's your pubic hair before you vote come in. They're trying to make it really difficult, and this is just the same old shit to me. I just, I, I hope, what's going on here? What's up, uh, cheap lady? Uh, I just saying, I hope that somebody on the Republican side will listen. But after some of the stuff what we're going to talk about today, nobody in the Republican is they're not going to they're, they're not going to do anything. They want the Republican. They want power and they don't give a fuck who helps us get it, yeah. which is. Putin so, and, you know, I mean, yeah, so, just, I mean, you I know, just, ah, you this motherfuckers. Is, we are, you know, so don't let yourselves be manipulated as citizens by a foreign power, okay? You know, we know that Facebook is a, is a platform where this goes down. Twitter is another platform where this goes down. It, it's um, been going down, yeah. On, on here, I'm sure it goes down. I'm sure, I'm sure we get Instagram, these right. are real Batianas that are, <laughs> that come into the show sometimes <laughs> and you're like, this is not a real person, right? Um, but it, yeah, but they are real people because if you look at the percentage, it's actually 33% of the solid Trump supporters. But guess what? I say in the GOP, from what I saw today, I think it's 100%. They're all full yeah. of shit. Even the ones that show a little bit of a backbone, it snaps under the pressure of, of a Trump yeah. tweet because they bitches. Yeah. Uh, and all your family that's Republicans, guess what? They bitches too. Bunch of bitches. Yeah. They need their so, ass beat. And so that's in reference, obviously, to this, this super, super rust filling of the uh, vacancy left by Ruder, Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, death last week. Um, so. Oh, pin the, pin, the, pin the site up or pin the thing up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but. Yeah, the subscribe, the YouTube thing. Do you have that? Um, no, nah, I don't have it. Uh, All have right, a fuck it then. But I'm, I, I will tell them this. Uh, but anyways, uh, so, you know, they're rushing to fill this seat. Um, and, and, you know, she's been there twice in as many days now. Um, uh, Coney Barrett, Amy, what's her name? Amy Coney Barrett? But definitely Coney Barrett yeah. is her name. Uh, that, uh, that, her that, name is... Uh, it's going to be her, so it, it, it's going to it's gonna be, be it's It's called Racist Snow Queen. That's her name. She's, she's just like, yeah, and some of the stuff she believes in is just... So out of the box. Damn. I, like, I don't want women beat up. That's fucked up to even say that. But this woman, I feel like she should be beat up. Like, not by a dude. I wouldn't want a dude to beat her up. Like, I, I'm telling you, just like some hardcore. Uh, what's up, Eve in the building? Eve's underscore Apple 7916. Yay! What's up? She, she's she going to go in today, I can tell. Um, uh, it's just that I think that when you see some of the policies and some of the things she backs, you already know what it is. As soon as they get in, Roe versus Wade, it's a wrap. As soon as they get in, you know what I'm saying? As soon as they get in, the Affordable Care Act, it's a wrap. <clears throat> so what are we going to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and so we, yesterday we were talking about hope that, you know, people like Mitt Romney hadn't spoken out yet. Uh, there were he a did. few other. He hadn't yesterday, I'm saying. But oh, yeah, yeah, as, yeah, yeah. As of today, as of today, yeah. We, so we had hope yesterday. All that's gone because any any key Republican that might have uh, swam in the other direction is just floating downstream, drinking that natty light. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they, man. They, you know what's, and so, but the thing is that you know they're obviously being criticized because they're coming out loud, like we we will vote through whoever comes through, and it's the whoever part. Like while we all can see what's coming, there isn't a there isn't a nominee yet, so. It's just funny to hear them all say, you know, that they're going to vote for whoever. And it's like, you haven't even met anybody yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if they don't make right. it through your vetting process, which is obviously being thrown out the window? So, 
Uh, yeah, there, there's no hope for that. There's nothing that the Democrats can do. I, I ain't even going. The Dem- no, even- there are there are things. That, I, I heard a, a very interesting thing on MSNBC. You know what they could do? Hmm. They can boycott. They can boycott the fucking and which is extends the amount of time that they get pertaining to a Supreme Court pick. They can boycott and say no. You know what? We ain't we ain't coming to a fucking. We ain't gonna even vet this bitch. We ain't coming. How about that? And they can do that. You know what else they can do? They can impeach the president again. Yeah, which, I've heard that. Just, yeah, just impeach the president again, and it'll extend the amount of time that has that he has pretending to that. And plus, he needs to be impeached again. He's already impeached, but he needs to be impeached. I didn't impeach that motherfucker every day of his life because he's a horrible human being. And all you people that like him, especially, you know what the worst part of it is the women that like him. Think about it. Um, imagine this orange Cheeto fuck stick just on top of you sweating, talking about his self because he's such a narcissist. Come on. Yeah, I mean, y'all already know what it is. The, you know, those especially those... women. So y'all women need to not all women, but y'all need to be beat in the face by a MMA woman. Now I don't want dudes beat women up, but like an MMA woman just jump up on you, or maybe a, a, a transsexual. But that that's still a dude. So no, women, just women. Wow. Well. So many things wrong with what you just said, but that's okay. <laughs> Savage. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to you're trying to hey, unpack. I, There's so much shit you say wrong. No, but, a whole but bunch it, of shit. It, in those in those in those potential scenarios of, of the Democrats blocking, I, I hear it, but I, I don't see it. I don't believe in it. And to be honest, I, I think the Senate would say, "Well, fuck it, don't show up. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck." I don't give a, I don't give it. And I no, I, I think no, but the, I no. Think they push if, the if shit they, through. They just... have to. No, we're talking about the 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 uh, Democrats in the Senate. Um, if it, if they did do that, that would prolong the the process. And they only got really two months to do this. They got so 40, they'd have to jam. They couldn't jam it through. They, so. Right, they couldn't jam it through. But I mean, honestly, this is something they could do. Honestly, they'd have to hold it up all the way till January when if if Trumpy Dumpty lost. And if he left the actual White House and, you know, whatever, that it, for it to get to the next president, you know what I mean? Like, because he yeah. still, even, even after the election, they would still have, um, you know, room, uh, yeah. room put to move. heat on, put heat on. And all the senators, the senators put heat on them. And, and you know, some of them are going to win because the Republicans got certain areas on lock, have put I mean, put crazy heat on them, put all kind of stuff, constantly call them out. They said also Biden, when he goes in the debate, he can't be no little pussy, little bitch ass. He can't be bitch ass. He got to say, first off, let's start off with this is the most corrupt, uh, incompetent president in the history of the presidency. That should be the first shit he say out the box. Forget all this asking. Like I saw them trying to ask four brave Republicans to come over to, you know, no, they ain't going to do the shit. So fuck it. First thing, hey, you's a lying ass bitch. Let's start this debate. You know you's a lying ass bitch. We got we got proof. Fuck all y'all. Lindsey Graham, we got video of you saying that you would never do the shit and you're doing the shit. You's a bitch. And when I see you in these streets, run hands. That's all I'm saying. Come on, Pedro. Let's go get him. Let's fight him. All um, right. Maybe not. Yeah, no. I'm going to let you go ahead and lead that charge. And uh, <laughs> Damn it, man. We got to I find another you're, way. You're the, one that's, you're the one that's strapped. Come on. Let me like... And they're like, comedian Shane got nearly 300 yards close to the White House by the time he Before was. he was ventilated, Before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Before they liberated his body. Uh, it's liberated his body from all the blood in it. He, he got some aftermarket holes in his face that he didn't know was coming. But I still say we, you know what? I say we just start going hard to paint, start being just as hardcore, and dirty, and raw. Because they're going to, they, like you said, that's a great way to put it. It's a full court press. The GOP is just like, fuck y'all. Well, then we need to say fuck y'all. And the Democrats, you pussies, quit being pussies. We need to start, you know, smacking these bitches. Listen. How many times you going to let, forget all that. I know that Jesus said, you know, turn the other cheek or whatever the Bible said. Fuck that. How many people really going to turn the other cheek pertaining to this? Turn the other cheek, that just give them an opportunity to smack you on the other side of your face. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that. You turn the other Man. cheek, you roll your shoulder, you go underneath <laughs> to the grill. Follow exactly. through with the elbow. Then the elbow, the elbow. And then after that, what you do it's is, not just this. what you do is, it's this, this. This, this. And then smack them. We need to be 
Everybody, I'm calling on violence. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> well, <laughs> just, hey, just start flipping listen, out. Get listen, him, man. Get him. Listen, you know, I'm you know, I'm gonna keep plugging this reality that this is a fascist president that we have who is pushing this country towards a fascist state. And to, the language he used today, he, he was he was like, we, you know, we got to have nine judges, meaning they need to, they have to fill that seat. Um, and then he goes from that immediately into a, the ramble about, you know, mail fraud and with mail in voting. And the obvious link is that if he doesn't win, he's going to need the court to uphold his bullshit that he, right. when, he, when he starts challenging results and stuff like that. So that, that's all fascist talk. He's like, I'm going I'm I'm to build the court that I need to do my illegal shit. So, that, so this, is how, like, this is how these fascist nations are built. It's like you let a dickhead like this run the country too long or even one good time, and the motherfucker <clears throat> flips the whole shit around him and around all the shit he does. Yeah. The, attorney, the attorney general is his personal lawyer right now. You know what I'm saying? Like in a de right, in yeah. anti-defamation oh, it's, it's, it's a fuck fest. Against a woman, it's against a a one fest. citizen. Um, yeah. now, and but now then Pedro then get Gertrude and help me go out and we're going to go out to blaze and glory. Come on, man. Hey, man. Let's go I'm, get him. All my shit is going to be for the porch. <laughs> Y'all come yeah. on in. But then we come can get them from the, the porch. We can, they, as they will, as, no, I'm just telling you. And I'm going to say this right now. People will say, here you go with that racist shit again. And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. The reason that all this shit is going to hell, the reason democracy is being fucked over, and, and I mean, just face fucked by an a angry prison guard is, <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but you know which, what it is? I'm going to say that. Which, by the way, the new, the new, uh, most likely appointee to the Supreme Court, she would not be against that guard prison raping you in your face. Right. She prison, totally guard supports prison that. Prison face so. fucking you. But go ahead. Uh, yes. You know, the, 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 the thing does. is, <laughs> I know I'm going, and people are like, no, no, you can't, you can't go that direction. And I know he does have a gun, but he can take him from the fucking balcony. Um, he can get him from the balcony. He got five. He's good six yards. Six yards. Right center. Point center. No, I'm saying right now, if if the Democrats aren't going to go that hard in the paint, we're, obviously we're going to lose. But we're going to lose. But like you said, it's a fascist fucking situation. So sometimes, you know, you have to deal with fascists with an overthrow. I say we do the shit. Yeah. Black uh, people just, know, just, yeah. At some point, they're, they're going to, they'll, they'll just become, Hola. Uh, you know, the, the militarized forces. Uh What's up, Donnie B? We see you. Um, yeah, you know, and and that's what these militarized forces in the urban areas are about too. Is that, you know they're they're gearing up for that shit, um, and and have started I, I, targeting Portland, New York. Uh, you know, yeah, these as, as anarchists, the anarchist uh, location. Whoa, shut the fuck Here, up! Here's one thing you know what the anarchist location? You living up in Putin's ass. That's what's the anarchist yeah. location. And, and, Can't and, stand y'all. And, and I just I thought this was funny and just kind of obviously hypocritical, which is, is just something that the GOP is great at uh, above all other politicians. But, um, you know, they 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 want to identify like Portland, New York, like I said, for allowing violence to perpetuate and buildings to be burned and things like that. Um, so in order to sort of punish them, they want to def <laughs> like take away funding to those cities. Right. And I'm like, but wait, isn't that defunding the police in those cities? But when, No, it's different. It's but when different. black people it's get different. about it in the streets or even liberal white people, it's crazy. You can't defund the police. They're trying to tear down America. But then Trumpy Dumpty and them want to do it to Portland and New York. They, they want to literally defund the whole city. And Los Angeles and the places... Yeah. The yeah. places they deem, which are all blue states, we already know it's a coup right now. The bottom line is that's what's happening. And I'm going to tell you whose fault it is, all right? And y'all can say whatever. It's European Americans. It's white folks. And if you're white on here and you get mad, I don't give a fuck. Not all. You not know all. that. Not all. There's a percentage. The percentage that's in a position of power of Caucasians or Caucasoids are the ones that are causing this. All, if you look at the people on the Supreme Court other than maybe one, it is all white male 
old white males that want to be in charge pretending to your vagina. You, you know what? If the Roe versus Wade, it's going to be old white men to tell you what you got to do with your vagina. If you look at how they treat in different cities, it's old white men saying what scares them because they're a bunch of bitches. It's a whole gaggle of bitches. I think it's a, like you ever had popcorn and the sticky, the sugar popcorn, and the stick and make a big glob of popcorn ball. Popcorn, yeah, that's what they are. They're a bunch of glob of fucked up shitty popcorn. I don't know if that made any sense, but I don't give a fuck. Well, uh, here, here's some more shitty popcorn for you right here on Savage AF, <laughs> uh, So eat this up. Um, you remember way back when, when the pandemic was just starting and <laughs> New York was asking for, you know, tens of thousands more hundreds of thousands, millions of PPE because shit was going down there and hospitals were overrun. Right. And, and Trumpy Dumpty was like, I don't know what they're doing with the PPE. It, it must be going out the back door. You know I mean? It, you know, somebody needs to look into that. Well, like we said, when, when Trumpy Dumpty says, uh, accuses somebody else of doing some shit, it's the shit he's actually doing. And the Pentagon took a billion dollars worth of funds that were supposed to go towards, and this is taxpayer money, meant for masks and squabs, and they used it to make jet engine parts and body armor. They're taking our own money to build up an army against us. And at this point, they wouldn't even That's need... That's what's happening. And at this point, they wouldn't really even need a bunch of people to take over, like, a whole army. Like, they could drone the fuck out of anything. You know what I mean? Like, they got they got drones that they can just send over and 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 throw right. that, throw you look down out your window and the shit's hovering there looking at you going hey what's up Pedro no no <laughs> like, I, I'm not even talking about them little hover ones I'm talking about the ones that are like airplanes that drop missiles on motherfuckers and look at you right. from, oh yeah uh, heights that you unknown so um the, you know this is this is this is that game they've been playing you know this is this is money from the CARES Act um, put out by Congress that. Is was always our money. That you know, something we always said too. Like, this ain't charity, motherfucker. This is gross domestic product. This is how we get cash. Is people this go out and work, and make, make right. products, and, and give services, and keep businesses going, and move each other around. And you know that it's called an economy, but it's pushed by us. It's not a theory. It's it's an actual practice of people. It's a fact. Yeah, right. yeah, but facts. You know, fuck facts. Yeah, you if know. If you look it, at uh, again, right. I'm, I'm using intelligence, and that's scary to them. You know what? Sorry. Stop it. You Sorry. Stop it. Daily funnies. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, so um, you know, this this is the game that was being played. This happened in March. Um, so you know that, that that's about the time when Trumpy Dumpty was like, somebody should look into that. Well, they did. It, it's it's out there. Um, and they found and, out that they basically were making robots to kill us, body armor, and that it's the, you know what? That's why I say if we're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, might as well go out that you know hardcore. Let's, yeah. <laughs> I just, I mean, I, I'm. It, it is so hard not to walk around the world and not want to punch motherfuckers right in their face. Yeah. No, I mean, the people that, and I mean, again, not all Caucasians, not all Caucasians, percentage of Caucasians that's doing this dirty shit. Gonzuntait, uh, God bless you. I didn't actually see I, hope, I fought it off. Woo. You fought it off because yeah. you are a warrior. Woo. But no, I'm just telling you right now, the end of the day, like you see what they're doing, all this dirty shit, and basically they're setting it up for a dictatorship. You're setting it up so even when we do fight back that they will have armor body armored fucking soldiers come into your neighborhood and this is not a paranoia because we've already seen it in portland we've already seen it in los angeles we've seen it in new york they sent they've sent in like people to abduct people it's on video and they got caught it's a fact so right now it's it's about to go down what do we do do we go out and be like fuck it and be sheep or do we go out as wolves I say, well, I say wolves. I am say, fuck it. I am no longer looking for acceptance from anybody, none of these people, and none of the people that's involved with it. And not all white people, but white people, you're on notice. I'm not looking for acceptance from you. You know, you accept me because I'm equal, not because oh, you've deemed it so. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. Um, yeah and yeah. I drink this uh, apple cider. Now, the, you know, these are, these are serious times, uh, you know. 
I think going all the way back to Eisenhower in his uh, in his like uh, you know last speech as president, you know, sort of farewell speech, he spoke of the industrial military complex. Uh, it's something that Kennedy talked about as well. Um, right. It's something that Jimmy Carter also spoke of as well. So it, this this nation has been about that for a very very long time. Uh, I do think we are getting to the point where it's about to be turned turned on citizens. It ha it, it, we're, we're watching it, like you said. There's video. No, of it's it, it's already we're, we're, you're right. And, uh, and in addition to the acceptance of particularly white militia, right? Um, and and while there hasn't been any uh, crackdown on, let's say, like the not fucking around coalition in terms of when they're out and other groups are out, the police just stand in between the two. Um, right. But, you know, it's it's hard to fuck with a group of a group of black people who are heavily armed as well, but within the law. Um, so, like I said, I like those shows of force, but most of us aren't actually ready for that, no matter how you feel right now. Like, even if you try and do it now, Shang, like, it's going to be rough, dog, for you to actually get a piece in California legally, which, uh, which I'm always... You got to do that. Like, otherwise, uh, gonna, the legal part's going to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, and, but definitely for any listeners or viewers, like, I, we are not endorsing that. Like, go do it all legally. But it, it's going to be hard for you to actually take possession of anything right now. Like, in, in right. any... And it'll, it'll be a while. any, um, you know, kind of swift way. So, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of y'all ain't ready. Eve's like, we ready in Arkansas. Cheyenne Lee, we see you. Miss Unique Love, uh, Miss Asia, we see Eve, you. App, Eve's Apple said, we're ready in Arkansas. No, yeah. no, you ain't because there's too many... There's some too many pander fuck black men down there that just wants to pander fuck and just, you know, do, do you like me, boss? Is oh. we sick, boss? There's for a lot of motherfuckers down there. Minute, we sick, boss? For a so minute, don't, I thought don't you, act like that. For a minute, I thought you said panda fuck. And I was like, <laughs> they got pandas in Arkansas. That motherfuckers <laughs> are trying to fuck? Like, whoa. No, no. <laughs> I haven't heard about this. On, that on, is a whole what new thing. What link did you click? Like, holy <laughs> shit. We will cover that. We'll cover that on Friday's show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, panda fucking. Well, like, oh, which what? part do you do? You panda fuck the white part of the panda <laughs> yeah, or the black part of the panda? I, I'm like, aren't they all girls? I don't know what, what's going. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, uh, look. Somebody said no, no. I like. Okay, I'll give you an example, Pedro. Okay, now you're saying that basically, are you ready for this smoke that they would bring? And I think that just like they've been training and they teach their kids to train how to shoot and stuff, there's a. I think that we need to understand we're in the middle of a fucking takeover, a war, a, a dictatorship. If this funneling the money to the, you know, the military and, you know, body armor, if you see how the cops have been acting, you see how the 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 military has been sent into cities. Um, the military in Washington D.C. for a photo op was shooting tear gas or some kind of, not tear gas, because I got corrected agents. before. Federal agents. Federal agents. Not okay, military, my bad. Did you, federal agents. My bad. I, did I put the, you put the air quotes up, it does change it. But, I mean, what what do we do? Do we, do we just go, okay, because don't get it twisted. What if there's one radical right wing that says, well, since we won the election and we got the Supreme Court judges, why don't we put these niggers in cages too? Right, Let's put them in cages. Fuck the law, because obviously they don't give a fuck about the law. What if they Antibellum. just said, fuck the law, and you're two of them. You're black and you're Pedro. What's your last name? Hernandez. Get him. Get him. They're going to really get you. Man. Yeah, they're going to get you before they get me, because they're like, you, you're you a twofer. That's what they call you, a twofer. Because oh, yeah, they don't know sure. you're Trinidad. You're Trinidadian. All they think is Mexican. They just hear the name. That, that's Blacksican. Get them. Uh, yeah, not that's not it. even that, but uh, you know, I, I listen. You know, my quest into gun ownership and 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 you know, status as that now is a reflection of my belief that yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit going on, and I ain't gonna be sitting here like this isn't right. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, y'all better get the <laughs> fuck away. From How my dare door. you? Like you know, what I'm saying like it, it, it's gonna be a little bit more like that. Um, you know. 
But I, but let like, me ask you this. You you did it legally. You did it all legally. What I'm saying is, if the shit go down, will legal really matter then? Because they're not doing anything legal. They're doing something illegal. The way they're going about it is illegal. By not giving the PPE for right. the people that actually needed it on the front line, the frontliners, that is illegal. They shouldn't have done that. They should have actually gave those people. The stuff they're doing in Congress, illegal. The stuff they're doing in the Senate, absolutely, positively, unequivocally illegal. They, I mean, they have no <laughs> ethics, no morals, and yet we're trying to be moralistic by saying, well, let's do it legally. Fuck that. If it go down like that, there's going to be a lot of illegal shooting. So I know that they got a lot of illegal guns, too. So fuck it. Let's go. I, I arrived on the day Fred Hampton died. That's a, a Jay-Z line. <laughs> Um, you know, Fred Hampton, uh, a Black Panther leader in Chicago, you know, they came in the middle of the night, shot the man in the bed. Um, Breonna Taylor lost her life. And by the way, they're, they're boarding up the, um, you know, they're boarding up b the federal buildings in, in Louisville already. So I think we know what's about to happen there. But the idea is that they're going to come in the middle of the night. That's usually what they do while you're asleep. Sounds like some boogeyman shit, but when you look at it historically, I mean, you, the footage of, you know, Osama bin Laden being shot or whatever, they, they wasn't pulling up in broad daylight, daytime. No, that shit was, you know. Yeah, but, they, but there's a lot of motherfuckers since the pandemic. There's a lot of motherfuckers, man, Pedro, since the pandemic, that's insomniacs. So it's like, you bust into the door and the nigga's standing there already ready going, yeah, I thought y'all might be coming soon. And then, it's a wrap. I just think that we, because we're getting aware of it, because of social media, even though social media is a demon right now, too, I give the demon side of it. But I'm telling you, people are becoming a little bit more aware, not woke, but aware. And by the way, fuck Cody Covington or whatever the fuck his name, the UFC fighter. I just, yeah, we got beef. And uh, I know he probably could beat the brakes off me, but not if I stab you in your fucking forehead with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. And the I ain't talking about a sharpened one. spoon. The plastic nope. one too. I'm talking about a not Good even old. a sharpened, just regular spoon. Mm -hmm. That's gonna That'll take work. a few wax. It's gonna take a few wax at it. But that's the point. You know, I get it. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, man. I I will bite a motherfucker. This is it's horrible right now. Yesterday you was in the mood because you're like, ah, shit. And and you think about it, you know, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing made it even worse. I've had some other shit that happened made it even worse. And now I'm thinking, fuck it. We're at a point where we're starting to be like, we got to say fuck it. This show is fuck it. This show oh, is yeah. basically us saying fuck it. You going to yeah, get Gertrude is basically saying shit going to go left. Fuck it. Because uh, two years ago, if I'd have talked to you, I'd have been like, hey, Pedro, when you going to go get a gun? You're like, what? Bro, I used to I used to think gun ownership was the silliest thing in the world. I'm like, it, it makes no sense that they let any of these motherfuckers run around with it, especially the cops. You know what I mean? Like, think about how untrained police are with their guns, other than aim, shoot, aim, shoot. Um, so how much how much better is your average American? I mean, look at that couple that stood on their fucking porch, pointing their shit at at. Yeah, you know, peaceful. The ones that got to speak by. at the RMT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, you know, this woman had her finger on the trigger. You know, like that's not. And while I don't know if there was a a bullet chambered, it's still just not gun protocol. So, <clears throat> so, you know, we we've allowed a lot of people to to own guns and and going through the process. You know, <clears throat> I realized that like. Like yo, I'm I'm an intelligent person, and I, I'm 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 cool and level headed in in all the ways that most of us should be. You know what I'm saying? We all have our limits. Right. You ain't gonna just run up to me and act silly in any kind of way. But um, for, for the most part, I'm I'm a citizen, bro. You know, I'm like I'm here. I'm here to chill. Let's get this done together. But when you go through the process, you realize, you know what? This is why all the shootings happen because this this ain't enough to stop like a semi crazy. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> the, the way the process goes, unless you walk in there like, ooh, I need something to kill everybody. We're keep getting something to kill. Get in something to kill. <laughs> oh, like, kill, kill, kill. Show me something I can kill with. You know what I mean? Like, they'll be like, you know, I'm not, gonna, you're not even the paperwork necessary. You can't but, have a gun. Yeah, get the fuck out. But <laughs> there's a lot of different crazies before you get to that. And most of them just come there's in. There's levels like, of crazy. Hi. Right. 
Yeah. No, what's that? What would be accurate oh. and allow me? Okay, that's great. Thank you. No, great. And then they go out and they like, die, you say I'm nigger, land nigger, everybody nigger, nigger. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, okay. That's so, what I'm saying. Their hatred is unfounded and unwarranted. The, the, if you look at white supremacists, if you look at white nationalists and KKK and all of them, their hatred is unwarranted. It makes no sense. They are just pussies because they're afraid of actual competition, not only pertaining to just the, the workforce, across the board societally. So that's why they're a bunch of bitches. They're the ones that's always talking about training in the woods and whatever because they're little scared bitches because they know all the dirt they did that actually minorities are going to be the majority by 50, 2050, and they are afraid that we might do to them what they did to us. So they're afraid little bitches, and that's why we got to make sure that you get better with Gertrude, and I'm buying some fucking thorn stars. That's what, <laughs> since I can't. Because I can't get a gun. <laughs> exactly. If they they, they go like, I'd probably be the person that go, hey, man, look, man, I, no, I appreciate your money. That is cool. But uh, I don't know if you'd be the right person to have. Yeah. I, like, but you can have these tiny throwing stars. I'm like, yeah, give me about 30 of them. <clears throat> but, but, like, that'll but fuck somebody up. They don't but, see that coming. <laughs> but realistically, you know, one of those questions that's always been asked is what, what would, <clears throat> how would, Germany had been different when the Nazis came knocking, you know, and when they started dragging people out into the streets, whatever, right. you know, those Jewish and other ethnic peoples um, that were killed by the millions by the Nazi party. Um, how would that have been different if those people had been armed and able to shoot back in any kind of way? You know what I mean? Able to bust back in any kind of way. Um, thing might have gone differently. Um, and, and I think ultimately right. with, with this, before we move on, I've, I've come to the realization that I just, in, in thinking about it, I, I, I don't think I'm able to submit to um, that kind of lifestyle again. You know what I mean? Like too many people fought for freedom and rights in this country for us to sit here and bow heads again and start hymnaling and singing and ah, 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 I'm like, no, no. Oh, your 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 joke. You, uh, when you when you guys get to see Pedro live, which hopefully be not too far in the distant future. In the near future. Pedro has one of the best jokes that encapsulates black people being patient, and you know, you know, and and so and she said, "Good what trouble." Kane Garlene said, "Good trouble." Give good, me good trouble. trouble. No, I. <laughs> I don't believe in that. I think it should be diabolical trouble because they're diabolical. I'm feeling very diabolical lately. But I'm telling you, that joke you do is like, well, when? <laughs> you yeah. know? Oh, for sure. That, so, that's hey, the bit. Say, uh, so, Shane, as we move on, man, I want you to, uh, could you please hit them with where they can follow us? I got to go grab something out of my bedroom for, for this next story. But uh, hit, hit them with, you know, where they can uh, follow us. Uh, YouTube, all that. I'll be right back. All, all the YouTube. Yo, make sure that, hey, well, first off, everybody, you know what it is. Make sure that you follow us. Uh, make sure you follow Black Pedro. Make sure you follow myself, uh, Matt Comedian Shang, and tell your friends, friends, friends to follow me. Stop fucking around, all right? And like some of my shit. I got really good shit. And Pretty Rude 99. What up? What up? I ain't got no draws on Pretty Rude 99. Yeah, that's, that. okay, that's kind of sexual harassment. I take that back. Also, make sure that you follow us and go to the website which is iamshang.com backslash merch you can buy some of the, our merch and also you can get us on all the platforms all the platforms okay itunes stitcher slacker google play iHeartRadio, spotify soundcloud that's right soundcloud you can check us out it's the podcast version by the way it's updated all of it's updated so it's updated so you can see it and it's there and that's it. So you can, it's the current shows updated. So make sure that you check us out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, then guess what happens? Everything goes to hell more than it is now. Yeah, man. We'll, we'll stay in 2020 forever. It'll just be a loop. Yeah, 2020 uh, a is a motherfucker. We'll cast a spell and that'll be it. Um, yeah, so here's what it is, guys. And, and, and as we get into this story, which is called Stop Your Engines, uh, a reference to uh, Michael Jordan, a former basketball player, Chicago Bulls, whatever. A uh, gazillionaire. 
Washington. Uh, isn't he a gazillionaire? Is that a, is that an amount <clears throat> gazillionaire? I'm sure in his head that's what he believes. Yep. All of his assets, I'm sure that's what they add up to in his mind. <clears throat> but, yeah, no, it's been always very successful business-wise as well. Um, before I get into totally hating, ha hating this man one time, you know, one more time on this show. Well, we already know what you feel pertaining I, to. Thank will, you, Donnie B, for subscribing. I will say that I, I do own one pair of Jordans. Well, see, blasphemy. Okay. okay. Blasphemy. But, but I'm going to explain why, and, and, and it's why. Because no. When I saw these in the store, okay, I was like, okay, this, this means something, right? This is, this is a story here. This right here, that's Detroit Piston Blue, okay? He had to get Jordan and them. They had to get through the Pistons first, right? Then, then I mean, yeah, this nigga. That's not got, making any sense. They got me wearing Laker colors here. That's purple and gold right there, right? That's purple with the gold trim. I don't know if we can see it. But then they, got, then they battled the Lakers, right? They had some, this has some, some battles with the Knicks. You, know, you see that? You from New York, right? That's that Nick colors right there before they became the Bulls, the black and red. You know what I'm saying? So, like. That that I, I liked this one, but other than that, fuck Michael Jordan. Okay, so, see, so, so. see, but no, but you know what? You only, oh, I, I to you went through all of that shit. It had to be. You fair. said all this. I'm sorry. All this shit. Look at it. It's blue and it's nice, but other than that, fuck Michael Jordan. It, it's his shoe. What are you talking thank about? You, it's thank his you, shoe. Miss Unique, I appreciate it. Yes, no. So, <laughs> and, and Miss Adverb, Miss Adverb's right. always crazy. Miss Adverb, oh lord. Oh, Lord. And thank you for subscribing, Donnie B. Thank you for subscribing. All y'all, subscribe. Subscribe. Also, I got to make sure that you check us out on YouTube. YouTube. All these shows that you're seeing right here are going to be on YouTube. So you can, if you miss it here, you can check it there. So don't, that, we need the subscribers. We just started it. So we got, we got about 10 people, I think, so far. So we need more because we just started. All right. Yeah. So we need you to get it out there. But no, I understand you saying that. Michael Jordan, you know, like, but I knew that long time ago. All like, right, so Pedro has this thing with Jordan where it's like, like if Jordan was actually like going down the river and couldn't was reaching for the the bank, and you were standing on the edge of the bank and you'd be like, well, I couldn't reach it in time. He just yeah. he flowed down the river. I tried. Yep, yep, yep. So, but, here, here, but, but I do have this, his nice shoes, though. But the, the, I got one pair. It's the only pair I've purchased as an adult. I had the ones when they were the ones. I was like eight years old. And then a couple years later, I had the threes. And, that, and then I started really hating them. And I was, I, you know, I got into basketball. I was like, man, fuck him. Uh, and they were really expensive back then. And niggas were getting shot in Detroit. But, <laughs> you know, all that aside, <laughs> this fuck Jordan is specific to his now partnership with uh, NASCAR driver Denny Hamlin to become uh, an owner in NASCAR. Uh, he's hired Bubba Watson, the only black driver, the one with new skate who had a noose in his garage at the, at the, at the race a, a couple right. months ago. Right, and they ago. tried to say it was nothing and that was normal. Fuck them, well, fuck them well, all. It, the noose had been there for like a year. And then they're like, yeah. no, and it was targeted normal. at him. It was for all y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't well, just for you specific nigger. Motherfucker, so. It was for all niggers. Don't you yeah. understand? It wasn't just for one nigger. It's for all and, niggers. It's, it's for simple. Of all the bays in the whole garage, he ended up parked in that one. But um, that being said, uh, Jordan is hopping his country at Yes Massa. Yes, boss. We's good for your boss ass up in there. Of course, he wants to, you know, open up a new market. And, and, you know, get black people into NASCAR because he grew up loving it and his parents used to take him. And I'm like, listen, listen, take your Hitler mustache, tidy whitey Haynes, selling ass, and just, nigga, buy farmland. And if you are the goat, yes. then eat grass like one. Just go out there and graze. Yeah, like, you could have you could have put your money into so much other stuff that was much more, well, you know, community here, centers here, for black kids well, well, and here, on and on and on. Here's, here's what's interesting. One of his quotes, and I, I don't have it in front of me, but it, it was on the order of paraphrasing. Uh oh, here, so but, you got you got somebody beefing saying, "I love Jordans and Jordan. He 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 the goat." Yeah, uh, yeah. Now I'm saying, and that's why I said, if if he's the goat, he can go out and graze just like one. Just send him out to the fields and let him graze like a goat, and he can just right out there. <laughs> right. Miss Adverb said Jordan put that noose in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's Miss Adverb on form always, um, but yeah, man. So uh, you know, Jordan wants to, but his quote basically was something like, in 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 the light of his recent 
donations to social causes. And I found the word recent to be very, that's the thing that stuck out. Cause like, oh yeah, you just recently, just now, after all these years, after years of being billionaire, millionaire, quadrillionaire, goddamn illionaire, you now you, yeah. you put in a little money. And he's like, so he was like, in, in the light of these recent donations, you know, I feel it's time. And, and NASCAR is showing inclusion and trying to change that this is the perfect time to, to join in and get people on and bring black people in. And I'm like, first of all, you made donations just so you could go do some more cracker shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, he bought his way back into crackerism by just, you Yeah, know, and Big Mark 90, Big 97 Mark said, y'all hating on Jordan. Uh, yeah. Clearly, clearly. And, and listen, just like y'all do with R. Kelly and, and fucking uh, Michael Jackson, I'm, I'm separating the basketball player from the shoe, all right? I only buy ones. I don't have the 52s with zebra stripes and goddamn gold zippers and a fucking air pocket chain. But yeah, I, I got a pair of ones, man. So fuck y'all. But I'm separating the player, the asshole, the Hitler mustache. Y'all remember this mustache? This one right Yeah, here? I don't even know what the fuck that instance, was. This, it was just yeah, this. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, Jordan, Jordan as just a this. humanitarian... <laughs> that nigga so you, underwear like this, though. You must buy the Jordans now. You must buy the Jordans. Listen, okay, he's been that way for a long time. All you people say, well, he was the greatest basketball player in the world. Uh, that's questionable. He was. And I'm even saying that because right now, time. I'm going to say around, all, all around right now, LeBron ain't no joke. Yeah, and LeBron time, actually has was, a conscience. At the time, he was the best, but that's it. At the time, he was the best, but no, without – no, he wasn't. No, no, no. Because without his surrounding team, uh, with which he got – who used to be with Detroit, Rodman, mm -hmm. without Rodman, right. and without – you know, without his, his, his – basically, his base of players that – yeah, he, he, always, really... he always needed support. Everybody does. Nobody carries a whole team. To right. So no, he wasn't like that. Yeah, and and, and if, yeah, but he let wasn't. me uh, Lin Lynette Kamara and always welcome. We appreciate you. She says I'm confused by what the issue is, Pedro. What, what the issue Pedro is having? All black everything. And you know what? If Michael Jordan, all the way through his overly expensive shoe career, niggas get shot. I don't say anything. Republican by. Republicans buy sneakers too. Attitude. If he had been all black, everything all all the time, I'd be a, I'd I'd be behind. I couldn't fight it. You know what I'm saying? Like LeBron James shit on my team too. Back in '07, he dunked on the Pistons for like 52 minutes in a row. It was horrific to watch. But the brother is righteous off the court, so I, I can I never knock LeBron. But Jordan is on some Johnny Come Lately shit. Like he literally said in my recent. With my recent donation, yeah, oh no, so, yeah, like he, yeah, he's even recognized. He's just getting in the game. He's never wanted to to have any peace in this, and now he's buying into this extremely hickish. Dick. I mean, they just had to get rid of the the, the Confederate flag in there. Confederate just, flag. I mean, and this like, is recently. Come on, man. Like, and, come on, man. Okay, but I big mean, ninety seven Mark. About to flock to that shit. You about to go to a but fucking big, NASCAR? Big, race? No, but. Big 97 Mark said, I look to Jordan for basketball and sneakers. That's it. I get it. But when you're in a position of power, especially a person of color, and you can actually speak out and make a difference, then you motherfucking do that because you're not going to get hit over the head pretending to your finances because you're already a multi-gazillionaire. So it wasn't that. It wasn't like he was going to lose his empire or lose, it, like, lose the fact that he was great. So I, I understand what you're saying, uh, Big 97 Mark. But at the same time, he could have said something. Say something. You want to talk about great athletes? I will big up Jim Brown, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I will big up even uh, LeBron James currently for, for having more of a Arthur voice. Ash. For Arthur seeing, Ash. Yeah, for seeing things out there. Who was a noop, by the way, El Noop. I saw you out there. Um, you know, for having the, the balls, honestly, to, to speak out on more than just well, you know, today we went out and we wanted to make sure that we shut down the three-pointers so that we could just take advantage of the lane. Like, okay, yeah, nigga, we saw what you did. We'll see the replays. But what about the motherfucker that just got shot eight times? You know what I mean? What about the motherfucker that got shot for your shoes? You know what I mean? But, but people always say, well, they got shot by black people and it's black people doing black people crime. But I'm saying the biggest crimes that right now, if you look across the board, has been perpetrated not by black people. And what's happening in 
the Supreme Court, when you're what's happening with the vote, who's trying to take away your right to vote, it is not a bunch of black people. It simply is not. It is you have to put the onus on the people that are at fault. And you have to put the onus on fucking Jordan because he did he could have went to any other business but the fucking NASCAR. But NASCAR, okay? Fuck it. If you don't <laughs> if you don't eat big red gum, fuck you. That's what he went towards. So, I, you know, I get people trying to say, you know, they got his back and wait a minute, he's doing something good. But nah, man, fuck and, that. And Pam, fuck Dor that. Pam Dory's box, I did explain why I got this pair of shoes. I went through the whole history. They going to give you the, you knew you was going to get the heat. You I put I, it I, there. I, hey, we Savage AF, we come with full transparency. It, it, it wasn't like motherfucking Tucker Carlson who exposed me and was like, Black Pedro actually owns a pair of Jordans. You know, like that ain't gonna. But come they, out. but I'm gonna give, I'm gonna that, give that you that will come fantasy. out because you just put it on it. there. I explained it. Listen, <laughs> no, listen. No. Piston blue, Laker gold, no, and purple. No, mix. no, no. Then no, you get to no. the Bulls. He got built through other teams, just like you said. It was a, it was a whole history to it. Okay, this ain't just the ones that match my fucking outfit that I wear when I go to the damn thing, okay? It's got to it mean but, something. But, then, but you, people already, you're already getting this. You're already getting that smoke. You already know people go like, I well, take if you think he's so full of shit, why would you buy his shoes? I can take the smoke. I don't buy his shoes. <laughs> I got one pair when I was 42 <laughs> goddamn years old. I bought them shoes at 42. And the first pair of Jordans I bought, and I walked into the Foot Locker, and I wasn't going to get any shoes, and I saw the motherfuckers, and I was like, God Damn it, these are but cold. you still these cold. Bought them. I was like, I know, but it's the it, nigga. I've seen all the shoes. I've seen all the Jordans. See, look, and people are like the fuck only that pair. Shoe. This that, that's the only. Yeah, that's my damn reason, Pam Dora. God damn it, it's, man, got to have a reason to do something. At least I got a reason. It, it, it might not be your reason. It might not make sense to you. But God damn it, fuck your feelings and your reasons too. The reason. <laughs> the reason. I don't know why you're yeah. surprised. People saying, fuck, fuck, fuck those shoes. No, yeah, but uh, so right, I so want to like make sure y'all know. We and we we're almost out of time, and I know you got to go, Shane. We got no, push, no, yeah, I got we got to push the fact that it is National uh, Voter Registration Day. You know, we are heavy right. on the tip of not just go out and vote. Uh, help, help your family, help your elders, and make sure they can get it out there in in a safe way, uh, whether that be a mail mail in or early uh, when it's not crowded. But understand that. You you are a, if you are not registered to vote you are you are you are failing off the gate so get registered as of today you can do it online in a lot of places um, but get it right. done and then know that we are voting now we got two minutes we are voting like the voting is going on but we got we got places, time to, yeah so it's gonna go down all uh, right so you got to make sure that you we we got we got we're good um because uh, you know how they let us go we're already over a minute it doesn't matter. But I, I mean, I don't know how far Glendale well, is. No, I'm no, no. It's, it's time to meet because we're on my feed. And they, they, they only let you go over. They don't let me go over. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting the countdown. By the way, all y'all giving, giving him heat about, I fuck with Jordans. <laughs> and, and then somebody said to you, fuck your feelings. <laughs> they going in on this. You should have never shown that shoe, man. No, because one day, one day somebody will see me in the street. They are like, nice kicks, nigga, though. I they are nice, though. Jordan. So I, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know I got a pair, but fuck that nigga too, right? You know what I'm saying? Like I, uh, you know, I I, de I deleted most Kanye music out, but I realized ah he's a guest on this or he did this beat, and I'm like ah that's too much music right there. TK, thank you for stopping by always. Uh, but those are nice shoes, though. I'm gonna say that they the are nice kicks. I'm gonna get it. For the most part, I purged myself of of those that I do not believe in. But yeah, these some cold you nigga. When you see me in these though. When I, when I walk, I see, walk See, he can't help it. He can't see. I look. walk cold in these bitches, though. Nigga, this, that, this, okay. that. Uh, see, that, you that, can't, that, you can't. No, no, no. Buck, no. Don't you ever show those shoes on Savage AF. By the way, Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. You know, people are still going in. Like, make sure, make sure that y'all check it out, all right? Make sure y'all check out the podcast version of it. iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube. I will make sure that I put it up and on all of the different stuff. And he's he, he own, just only got one my pair. Own, my it's own one frat pair. brother said I sound like you on BLM. <laughs> it's not even that deep, y'all. We got five seconds. Four, three, two. <laughs> three. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. 6 p.m. Boom. We out.